Many people find this part of the website a little challenging. What we're trying to do are to connect your values that you stated on these scales with the medical treatments that you prefer. We want you to think about what's really important to you if you were to get really sick, even die. Part of this is thinking about your quality of life and your quantity of life. You know, the longer you live, the more likely you are to experience a lower quality of life, especially if you develop an illness. For some people, that's not what they would want. They would rather have a higher quality of life than live longer. And that means even not receiving machines at the end of life. I've heard some people say that they would rather die than live in certain conditions such as being dependent on others in nursing homes for example. Other people would want to live as long as possible so for them the use of machines during serious illness might be okay. It's really important for your doctors to understand which of these values is important to you because it will change the treatments that are offered you. So these scales help record what is most important to you. If the focus is on prolonging your life, then record a one, or a two, or a three. If the focus is on maintaining the quality of your life, then circle a seven, or a six, or a five, depending on how important it is to you. Or if they're both equally important, then you'll circle a four. The same goes for documenting your feelings about the use of machines or receiving a natural death. You will be given a chance to record your answers when you actually go through the section called Make a Plan. Next, we'll ask you to record those numbers of what's important to you to the grid which will help us to connect the values to the possible medical treatments that you might receive. Take a moment to think about your answers and where you ended up on the grid. Are you surprised? This is a good time to think about why you answered the way you did. When you make your plan, if the grid places you in a category that you don't agree with, you'll be given an opportunity to go back and change your ratings on the value scale. You'll notice that grids say no CPR or no cardiopulmonary resuscitation. You may have seen CPR on TV, that's where most people get their information about CPR. And there on TV it seems like everybody turns out okay who receives CPR. But that's not actually what really happens. It's really important for you to get the facts about CPR because healthcare professionals will sometimes use it to keep you alive even if it means you survive with a reduced quality of life. Our CPR video will give you all the facts you need to know about CPR. So unless you're sure you're just preferring comfort measures only, we strongly encourage you to watch the CPR video.